So in this video, we're gonna see how well Bard AI can do for something like trip planning. I'm gonna ask it to plan a trip for me and I'm gonna start building the prompt out here because I do have the microphone access here. So I'm gonna say, plan me a trip for two people for one week in July to Miami, Florida. I wanna stay at an Airbnb on the beach. I don't wanna spend over $2,000 and I want to eat at several of the top rated restaurants in the Miami area. Let me know what your idea for a plan is and what sites I should go to to find out about what restaurants to eat at and give me some suggestions of how the trip should go. Give me a five day plan of how this trip could work all right so I'm gonna send that and we're gonna see what this this puts out so I'm actually interested to see what this does because one of the things with Bard is it touts being tapped into the internet and you know says hey I can go research things for you so that's a that's a really interesting thing with Chad GPT where it's a little bit different so Okay, so it says here is a possible itinerary for a five day trip. So day one, um, so it's a little bit vague here, but it says, hey, you could go and check out these restaurants right here. Get has some um, some names. I'm actually gonna go check real fast if this one is even a thing. And it turns out it is. It looks like right here on Google, you could uh, you could go to this. So it's still listed. All right, so moving through here, it has some suggestions for some things that you could go check out. And try just snorkeling on day three um, it's calling out the names of some places it's given uh, a dinner suggestion for every uh, day of your trip that's really cool um, and then it says here are some websites that you can use to find out about restaurants in Miami <clears throat> and it breaks all those down um, and then it says hey here's some suggestions for keeping uh, everything under cost but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it to find out a like some some pricing for me so I'm gonna ask for basically an enhancement on this part of the prompt even though I'm pretty satisfied with this this is cool I'm gonna ask for for a little bit more of a breakdown can you give me a breakdown on what the average price for a hotel in Miami is right now and can you list five of the top hotels that aren't too expensive and give me the prices and links to all of their websites so i'm curious if it'll do this it does seem kind of stingy to cite sources and and then other times it will give sources so this is one weird thing with bard because it claims to be able to go on the internet and do these things and find these things for you and essentially act as like a AI, LLM, Google type thing, but sometimes it really bucks on these types of requests. So I'm interested to see what it what it could do um, if I if I test it a little bit more. That that's fine. I just want to know what the hotels are and what the prices might be. I do understand that you are only a language model. Sometimes with these things, you can just tell it that it's fine to do whatever you want. And sometimes that works. And that's essentially um, what we got. The one thing I will say this this kind of dumb that Bard did is it just said, cool, here are some of the cheapest hotels in New York City. And it just randomly grabbed a location um, and it did not do Miami. It didn't keep the context of Miami. That's cool. Can you give me the same type of information but for Miami for this trip that you just helped me plan? And I'm curious if it'll say no or if it'll say yes, it'd be interesting. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. So we have um, some breakdown here. Here's some of the cheapest hotels in Miami. Okay, great. So we have a list right here. Um, that's cool. These hotels are all located in Miami-Dade County, close to many of the city's top attractions. Neat. All right. I'm going to ask it to give me some of the reviews of some of these places. Can you tell me out of the list of hotels that you just gave me, which one is the top rated? And then tell me what some of the reviews say about that top rated location. 
So I'm interested to see how far it can go to actually talk about this. So, okay, so it says top rated hotel in Miami is a James Hotel. And that was in our list at 70 bucks. Uh, it's near the Miami Beach Convention Center as a 4.5 out of five stars on Google. Here are some of the reviews. Okay, great location, great staff and clean rooms. Awesome, great. And I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a complex task. I'm gonna say to it, great. Can you now tell me how many four star restaurants are within walking distance or less than two miles from the James Hotel in Miami? So I'm curious to see if it'll do basically a spatial task and then go and assess um, this. And sure enough, it did that. So it says, okay, yep, there are four or 10 four-star restaurants within walking distance or less of uh, the James Hotel in Miami. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually gonna go fact check this real quick on Google to see how this, this lines up. So it's cool, it actually has, um, this listed as actually closer and I'm not sure how I measured it, but closer James Hotel to the Bazaar by Jose Andres is really close. If you look back over here at Bard, it'll say that it was uh, 0.6 miles. So it's, um, I'm not sure where it's pulling that information, but it's pretty darn close. So this is really cool. So it says, hey, you know, here's all, all this information. So the other thing I wanna say is like, okay, great. Tell me now what some of the best dishes are at these restaurants. So we're gonna build the prompt real fast. I'm gonna say, okay, great. Can you give me the top three dishes from all of the restaurants that you just listed? And I expect this to be a pretty complex task because it would have to go kind of Google search each of these, understand the, uh, wow, that was really quick. So um, it says, yeah, here's the top three dishes from each of the restaurants that um, were listed. So. I don't know how it came to this, um, and I'm gonna ask it, how did you determine what the best dishes were? So it lists here, it says that the overall rating of the restaurant, the number of positive reviews for each dish, and the average price of each dish, and the type of cuisine, and then it says my own personal preferences, which I think Bard has personal preferences for food. That's pretty creepy, but I'm into it. So. Anyhow, I hope that this is helpful. This is basically how you can get after some trip planning and some online research about anything. Um, I really like the microphone feature. I probably said that a couple times um, over the course of these videos I've been doing on Bard. But overall, I think this is pretty competent uh, with stuff on the internet. I do think that you have to dodge this um, statement right here that it can't help with that because it clearly can. I think it doesn't really want to, it doesn't really know what you're asking or something like that. And um, it, it, I don't know what's going on with that, but hopefully that gets better as Bard gets better. And so, yeah, uh, but if this was helpful to you, um, hit that like button and subscribe for more content about AI and stuff like this. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments and thank you so much for watching.